Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In our previous Anaconda installation video, we saw how we can install and work out with some of the commands within Anaconda prompt. Now in this video, quickly I will show you how to spin up a Jupyter notebook and how to work within a notebook effectively. So let's get started. In order to open a Jupyter notebook, there are two ways. Okay. So one is you go to all programs, go to Anaconda and click on this Jupyter notebook. This will open up a Jupyter notebook interface. So you just have to wait for few seconds. It will give us the notebook interface. Now in order to open a blank notebook, you just have to go to new and click on Python 3. Okay. Now it will bring up a blank notebook. The other way to open a notebook is I will just close this. I will go to Anaconda again, all apps, Anaconda, Anaconda prompt. Okay. Now this will give me an Anaconda prompt. It's just like a command prompt, but it's a Anaconda prompt. Now you can see if you remember, we are in the base environment. Okay. So now if I if I want to see the list of environments, I can just quickly say Conda env list. So it will give me the list of available environments within this PC. So you can see there is a base, there is a Py38 environment, and another environment by name Py38-2. Okay, so let's not get into that environment stuff. I have already included these things in my previous video. Please go and refer to that. Now, to open a Jupyter notebook from Anaconda form, you just have to type Jupyter notebook. Please note that we are creating or spinning up a Jupyter notebook from base environment. If you want to work in different environment, you have to go to your respective required environment and then type this type in this command and hit enter this will open up a jupyter interface just like we saw earlier right so this is our jupyter notebook interface now in order to open a blank notebook i have to just go here new click on python 3 <coughs> now it will give me a blank book so this is called a cell okay if you see in and empty square bracket here it's a code executable cell what I mean by code executable cell, we can write Python code in this cell. So let's say I want to create a variable name and store my name in this. Now, a variable by name, name is created. Okay. If I want to just write some text, okay, but I do not want it to be treated as a Python code. So how I can do that? So let me delete this cell here by going here and using cut selected cells okay so i'll click this so that cell is gone a fresh blank cell will be provided to us so if we want to treat cell as just a text whatever we type within that cell as a text but not a python commands or python script we have to come out of this take the cursor out of this take the control out of this by pressing escape or clicking outside the box and hitting enter hitting m sorry not enter if we hit m it will be treated as a markdown cell what do you mean by markdown whatever you type in here this is my first jupyter notebook so this will be treated as a plain text but not any python command or python script okay by default it will be a python executable cell if you want to make this as markdown or just a plain text cell hit escape press m so that will get you to markdown mode and then you can type whatever you want in a plain language so okay now this is my python executable cell right let's say i want to create a variable called name equal to shankar now i want to create another i want to execute this okay when i what happens when i execute it value shankar will be stored in the variable called name okay in order to execute it there are two or three ways you can either click this run it will be executed or you can uh, press shift plus enter or control plus enter okay so let's say i hit shift plus enter what happens is i executed this cell and it gave me a new cell below that this happens when i hit shift enter so let me create another variable height so my height is 511 i will just press control enter now instead of shift enter so what happens if i 
press control enter this cell will be executed but i will not be getting any blank cell below in order to exit in order to get a new blank cell below this cell cell number 3 i can just come again in escape mode i'll just press escape and i press b so b means below below the current cell now i can see a new cell here now even if i type something nothing happens because the control or the cursor is not within the cell in order to get the cursor within this cell i can either manual uh, using mouse i can click here or i can just press enter hitting enter will give, give me the control within that cell now i can execute another uh, python command just like above let's say i want to create another variable called occupation software engineer now i am executing this cell with the help of this run box let's say i am clicking this see what happens here the functionality of this click run and shift enter are same it executes the cell and inserts a new blank cell below okay now let's say if i want to insert a new cell above this blank cell or let's say i want to insert a new cell above this occupation not below but i want a new cell above the cell number 4. So, what I have to do? I have to press escape and press A. A means above, B means below. Earlier we saw how to insert a cell below any cell. Now we are inserting a new blank cell above the required cell. Okay. Now the control or the cursor is not within the cell. In order to be able to type into that box, I can either manually go with the help of mouse and click there or I can just press enter. Now it will give me the cursor here. I will be able to execute some Python commands just like this. So now if once you are done, please mind that this is the button to save your changes. Whatever changes you have done in this, you can save this. You can use plus symbol to insert the cell below or you can just use the commands that I told earlier. You can use this to cut. Okay. In uh, suppose let's say you do not want this cell to be there okay you want to delete this you don't want to see this anymore so you can either use this cut click on this by highlighting the cell whichever you want to delete you can just click on this or in escape mode on that particular cell you can press d twice so if you press d twice that cell will be deleted okay you can similarly copy the cells by using this buttons here okay so let's say i am i want to copy this again occupation let's say i am clicking on copy and i want to paste that paste cells below so see this is paste cells below if i come here and click this it will paste it below because i came here and then click on the paste cells below it created another cell and uh, pasted the content within that cell okay so this is the basic of how you want to work Let's say you are executing some long running code or you think that your program might be stuck. In that case, what you can do, you can go to that particular cell which you feel it's long running or it's getting stuck. You can just go here and then click on this interrupt the kernel. So whatever execution is happening at that particular point of time, it will be interrupted and kernel will be freed again. Okay, that's one thing. Let's say I want to redo all the, undo all the changes, not redo, sorry undo all the changes i do not want to have these variables in memory so one way to do that is i go to the kernel and restart okay and just say restart it will restart the kernel and all the executions will be gone if if you check the variable name now it will say name is not defined it will give me an error it should give me an error see name is not defined right so this is how it works now this is an output right i got an error in my output because name is not defined because previously i had restarted the kernel now i want to remove this output as well as i want to restart the kernel so what how we can do that i have to go to kernel and i have to choose restart and clear output okay if i hit this it will restart it will clear all the outputs and also it will clear all the execution numbers in these cells Hope you guys noticed that. If you did not notice it, you failed to notice it, you just 
go back to the video go back in the video few seconds and then you can observe it okay now if i want to execute all the cells at a time without going to each cell and hitting shift enter control enter something like that you can do one thing but before doing that let me uh, delete this duplicate cells okay i will delete this okay i don't want any of this so these are the three variables and in the end i am printing one variable called name so if i want to execute all the cells at a time i can go to kernel and it says here restart and run all okay so i'll just say restart and run all kernel will be restarted and all the cells will be executed you see i did not run any cell individually all the cells got executed by itself by going to kernel and hitting restart and run all so this was about the basics of jupyter notebook and this is all you need to know to start working with the jupyter notebook so hope this helped you guys see you in the next video thank you bye bye